What is up guys this is Shivain and today in this video I will tell you guys how you can fix a very common problem that whenever you launch Google Chrome and try to access a site it says that server IP address cannot be found. So for me what just recently started happening out of nowhere was that I tried to access some sites and it denied me access by saying this message and some sites like YouTube and Google I was able to access very easily. So I don't know what's causing this problem and I tried to fix it and I found out about some ways which can help you fix this problem. So first of all let's begin with changing our internet protocol and for that we have to go to control panel and in that network and sharing center so once you reach the network and sharing center you just have to click on change adapter settings and then go on whichever adapter you have so ethernet or wi-fi for me it's wi-fi and right click on it and go to properties and in properties you will find internet protocol 4 just click on that and go to its properties and then change from obtain my dns address automatically to use the following dns address and then type in the following dns address so i'll just mention it down in the description below if you have problem seeing this and just click on save so once you do that maybe that will fix your problem because it didn't for me but it might for you so if it didn't fix your problem just keep on watching this video i discuss i discuss a lot of ways which might fix this problem and you can try all of them because in the end my problem was fixed rest assured so next way which we can discuss is by using the command prompt and for that you just have to click on the start button go to search and there search cmt or command prompt and open that as administrator that is very important that you run this program as an administrator so once you do that i'll mention the commands in the sequence in the description below for you to check out and you just have to type in those commands like so so once you finish up with all of the commands just close the cmd window and then reboot your pc and see if that helps but again it didn't work for me so anyway so the last way and which worked for me was you have to go to device manager and you can do that by right clicking on the start button in windows 10 and then going to device manager or searching for it in the search bar so once you open up the device manager you have to go to network adapters and under that find out whichever network adapter that you have for me it's the Quadcom wireless network adapter and then right click on it and go to update drivers and then select browse my PC for the suitable driver and then go to let me pick from the list of available drivers in my computer and then it will present you with a list for me it's just two drivers and as much as I think they're the same but I'll just select the second one which is not in use and then click yes and then just reboot your PC. So while it's rebooting I would just like to ask you guys to just pause this video and go down below and hit that subscribe button because it would really help me out as well as keep you notified about my latest videos. Okay did that nice. So as you can see after my PC has booted up when I go to Google Chrome I can access all the sites. So thank you for watching guys. I hope this video helps you. If it does, don't forget to smash that like button and remember to subscribe to the channel as in the next video. Until then, bye.